How many people cares versus how many people don't care? And the degree of care is not whether they really care or not, it's whether they perceive that there's a problem and that will tell you how effective the masters in control have been in brainwashing the population. They don't perceive that there's a problem. If they did, they would be here. Wouldn't they? It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with what we're talking about. My purpose is not to change your religion. My purpose is not to uh, make you believe everything that I say. On the contrary, I'm the only one in the world that will tell you, listen to everyone, read everything, believe absolutely nobody, including me. Tired of your ism, schism, game, dine and go to heaven in Jesus' name, Lord. We know when we understand. Almighty God is a living man. You can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. En hoe doe je dat? Door ze uit elkaar te houden. Verdeel en heers, dat klopt. Because it's irresponsible of me to leave the world in the condition that it's in for my children to clean up after us. The first solution to our biggest problem. What at first, what is our biggest problem? Lack of knowledge. The vast numbers of American people are ignorant. They don't know what's happening. The number one solution and the biggest goal we have in front of us right now is to educate them, get them information, but not like people normally do it. How are people normally getting information to the American people? Television. They're getting stuff on the fax and over the phone and they're hearing it on the radio and they're just repeating it and passing it on. Is it true? 95% of it we have already proven we know is false. That's got to stop. We have to educate them with the truth. Things that we can document and back up. And if we can't, we have to tell them we can't. Be honest. If it's opinion, say, this is my opinion, okay, like I do. You've all heard me do these things. If I can prove it, I tell you. If I can't, I tell you. If it's my opinion, I tell you. I don't leave you sitting there guessing. And you shouldn't do that to other people either. And if you get something, if you don't know it's true, don't pass it on, period. He who does not study and understand history is doomed to repeat it. And the same play has been being performed throughout the history of the world by what we call the builders, the controllers, the puppet masters, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to start right at the beginning and tell you exactly who they are and how to identify them. Okay? Because there really are puppet masters, there really are controllers, there really are builders, but they're not engaged in building buildings, they're engaged in building people. They're building what they call the perfect race. They're perfecting humanity in order to control nature. They're building the utopian world that they perceive that we need. I say, who's we? We who? 
He didn't ask me about this. You know? And that's the problem with these guys. They have placed themselves in, a, in an elitist attitude to tell the rest of us what we need. And the truth is, we don't need them to do that. Okay? They haven't got the right to do that. They think they do, because they think we're just a bunch of stupid cattle. And I gotta tell you, for the most part, most people prove them right all the time. Not intentionally, but because the knowledge, the truth has been withheld from the people. And that's how they manipulate people, is by withholding the truth and controlling them with the lies. It was quite obvious in school. You change uh, focus in school. You were not supposed to teach the students anymore. You were supposed to uh, make good citizens of them, mm -hmm. to have the right values, the right opinions, and that was kind of a uh, political propaganda. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that first. I was just wondering what is happening? Why can't we say what we want anymore. There was a, I called it, a, you sh everyone should be agree mm -hmm. uh, and think exactly the same. You were supposed to basically teach the students what to think yes. as opposed to just being able to mm -hmm. think. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's true. It's because from the beginning people are taught to be stupid, taught not to think, not to challenge, taught not to ask questions. Because this is no longer a nation of independent individuals. Орден включился, но все равно мощность падает. Продолжайте. Что происходит? Мы же не должны опускаться ниже нормы 700 мегаватт. Это же не безопасно. Что я ему скажу? Я ему сам скажу. Не надо мне ничего говорить. Я все знаю сам. Думать не твоя работа. Здесь я принимаю решение. Делай, что тебе говорят. Why do they want these people coming across our borders? Because these people are helpless. They're without money, they're without a home, they're without a job. What are they? Victims. What do victims bring? Give them the vote and you're going to have socialism. That's why they don't try to stem the flood of immigration. It furthers the agenda of socialism. Most soldiers who ever fought in the history of the world were used, abused, and were cannon fodder, thinking they were doing the right thing. We all thought we were doing the right thing. We had noble aspirations when we went. Like I told you before, nobody sets out to do wrong. They believe in what they're doing and they wouldn't be doing it. That's right, we were all young boys, stupid young boys.
me about as stupid as they get. Do you have the freedom to choose your religion? Do you? Well, it depends upon a few things. So however you answered that, whether you answered it loudly or quietly, you were right. Doesn't matter. If you were reared in a family that did not indoctrinate you into any religion, then by the time you reached the age where you could be responsible to make your own decision, yes, you could choose your own religion based upon honest study. If you're a child and your mother is Jewish, what are you? Jewish. You're Jewish. And how are you reared? Jewish. Jewish. So from the time you're a little baby, you are taught to be Jewish. Do you have a choice? No. no. Is Jewish a race? No. no. So is it true that if you're born of a Jewish mother, you're a Jew whether you want to be or not? No. You're a Jew because you're taught to be a Jew from the time you're born. Same with Catholics. If your parents are Catholic from the time you're a little child, you're required to go to catechism. What is catechism? Brainwashing. What is teaching this little Jewish child that he's a Jew whether he wants to be or not and teaching him how to be a Jew all the time he's a little baby up until the time he grows up? It's brainwashing. What is it when your parents take you to the Baptist church from the time you're a little bitty baby and require you to go to Bible school and teach you all of these things from the time that you're that small and can't make a conscious choice of your own and don't know what is right is wrong? What is that? Brainwashing. Is it right? Depends on your viewpoint. Personally, I think it's wrong. I think everybody should be able to make a choice based upon honest investigation and finding out what is right to them. Why? Because you elected representatives to act in your behalf. Is that correct? Okay. Black lives matter. Hey, 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 hey. What about your life? Does your life matter? Exactly. Exactly. Does your life matter? We all care. We want the United States. We want the country of the United States. We do want to become a All American lives Indian. matter. We you look like a buffoon. Too. And I tell a black, I tell a black, Idiot Black Lives Matter, the same thing. Amen, You're being played. They're dividing and conquering us. Dat denkt iedereen van, hé, hey, deze wereld is met, uh, met uh, plus en min en uh, zwart en groen. Maar op een hoger niveau is het een spel. Het zijn vriendjes. Ja. Maar ze hebben zich wel te houden aan alle regels en wetten... die ze zelf hebben gecreëerd om de rest van de samenleving daar te houden... en dat het niet erg druk wordt in de top. Mm -hmm. Dus je moet wel volgens je eigen regels gaan spelen. Nou, dus, dus hetgeen wat daar speelt, dat is dat je dus wil... dat uh, niemand het spoor kan vinden of kan volgen. Hè? Buitenom de top is niemand in de onderlagen, die kan volgen wat er nou werkelijk is gebeurd. Compartmentalized nou. noemen we dat, hè? Dus ja. ieder weet zijn eigen stukje en ja. alleen de top weet wat er ja. speelt. Ja. There are no nations, there are no peoples, there are no Russians, there are no Arabs, there are no third worlds, there is no West. There is only one holistic system of systems. There is only 
IBM and ITT and AT&T and DuPont, Dow, Union Carbide and Exxon. Those are the nations of the world today. The whole world's people are becoming mass-produced, programmed, That's why the older books are the best. They tell you the most truth. Yes, sir. So why the hoax? Why the hoax? Yeah. What is the end result of the hoax? What do you have to have to solve this problem? World government control of the atmosphere. You see, they do it by stages. Is this what's going on? Is it? Are we being visited by space people who look at us as little babies in the playpen of the universe? Who looks back at the aliens and sees them as insignificant little twerps with a lot of technology? I reached a point where I had to go in and look myself in the, in the bathroom mirror and say, you are the stupidest idiot that has ever walked upon the face of this earth. And you've got to stop it right now. And there's nobody who's going to escape that. And if you haven't done it yet, you're going to have to do it someday, because it's true. You don't want to do it, but you've got to do it. That's what's neat about doing it in the bathroom. Nobody has to see. Okay? You're not going to be embarrassed except to yourself. Autonomous vehicles will be, will be controlled in the cloud. Smart city energy grids, transportation networks, and water systems will be controlled in the cloud. Immersive education and entertainment will come from the cloud. Yes, sir. Yes. In other words, the foundation of everything is intellect built upon intellect. That's right. Denial of any uh, God, spirit. And so they on. want to really, literally, return to what they call the golden age. But they don't want to do it with the risks involved. They want to go to a simpler life where technology and the intellect and learning and knowledge is controlled by them. And the rest of us just sort of live like children in their care. Socialism, that's what it is. That's what socialism is. You give up all your rights, you give up everything, 
you agree to accept my rules for you and I'll take care of you. In other words, we want the whole human race to stop being adults. You become children again, we will be your daddy. We are the only truly mature minds and thus are the only ones who are rightfully endowed to rule. You're just profane cattle. We'll allow you to live if you'll do it on our terms. And if you won't, we're going to get rid of you. You're going to make that paradigm shift or we're going to kill you, knock you off, use you for slaves until you die, whatever. We'll get some use out of you if we can. And if we can't, we'll just simply eliminate you. That's their plan. 